That fool Swifty posted that you blocked him like a girl going on social media. Dog, why wouldn't I block that weirdo? That fool's fucking weird as shit. Like, that man, dog, all he does is be on his phone. I don't need that shit, dog. Those crates of wax you posted. That's Ernie G. Library, huh? Hell yeah. It's just rap, but sometimes you got to call them out so they sit through blue dreams of Bible. <laughs> These motherfuckers need, they need, they need, they need help, fool, like counselors and shit, because to get into the trauma that I've caused, dog, like, motherfuckers are really, <laughs> motherfuckers, motherfuckers, dog, listen, dog, when I tell you something, dog, it's like, look, man, I'm going to explain something to you guys real, real quick, all right? And this is true life shit. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, look, look. This is real life shit. Look, I'm going to tell you something. I got an edge on these fools, dog. I got an edge on all these fucking idiots, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, look, man, I'm going to tell you something. I started doing prison time young, you know? All right. I'm just, and I'm telling you guys a story the, to, to fucking say something else, all right? Look, my first term, I went to Susanville, right? I was such a fuck up. I was in the two yard to start when I first started in two yard, but I was such a fuck up. I ended up on a three yard, right? So when I was in a three yard, let me tell you something about Susanville. Susanville has northerners and homies and there's war always beefing. Well, there was not no more. Now it, I heard it's SNYs and all kinds of shit. Things have changed since I went to prison, right? So look, so when I was in prison, dog, I went to a level two my first term. I, I got caught with two guns. I got caught with a with an HK four five and a Glock twenty six, right? I got caught right there on um on cord and mines, right? <laughs> so look, so I go to the joint, right? And I was so excited to be in the joint. I wanted to go to three yards, so I kept. Finally, I, I try to whack a, a a northerner, right? Listen, I'm not disrespecting northerners. I'm just telling you the truth of the story, right? So I ended up going to the three yard. I ended up going three yard, but I did a shoe. I did a shoe in that hole. I was in the hole right there for a long time. So anyway, so check this out, man. So I, when I was right there in the hole, I was back there with a gang of northerners that that were in the hole also, right? And I was back there with some fools that, cause it's the hole. Like fools haven't got sh shipped out yet. <clears throat> like people haven't been separated. So there was northerners that have that were back there for going to war with the homies. And there was also, um, there was also like fools that had pieced it up for, for being in debt. And then there was like some blacks that didn't like homies because it's the hole, right? So look, dog. So we're in the hole. I'm in the hole, dog. And, and we run a program in the hole, right? So when you go to the hole with the homies, you know, it's mandatory roll call early in the morning, like five thirty in the morning. You got to sound off before chow even before they even bring breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like the homies want you up when you do your routine, you sound off all that shit, right? So look, so I'm in the hole and all the enemies, all the enemies knew that we get up early and we program so forth and so forth and so forth, right? So they used to try to fuck up our sleep because if you don't make roll call, you get broke off. You know, if you don't make, if you don't make your routine, you get broke off. If you don't go to yard, you get broke off, right? And you got to understand like other races, they'll sleep in. They don't give a So we're in the hole, dog. And the fucking, the enemies, all the enemies... You got to understand, in prison, all the vents are connected. You know what I'm saying? So the enemies used to torture us at night. You know, the, the enemies used to torture us at night. Be disrespecting us through the vent, calling us names, keeping up, keeping us up all night. Then fools will stay up all night just to fuck with us and then sleep all day. And we'll, we'll be up in the day, but we're not allowed to wolf. We're not allowed to run our mouth in the hole. You feel what I'm saying? So the enemies knew that, so they knew that they could sleep. We're not going to disrespect them, right? But I got another story about that too. So anyways, so in the hole, dog, the enemies used to torture us, fool. Torture the fuck out of us. I was there like eight months, dog, before I finally left the hole. But the enemies used to torture us, disrespecting us, fool, dishing our dead homies, talking about our baby moms, our moms, our daughters. You, you name it, dog, they disrespected us, right? So I'm used to that shit, dog. Like I'm used to motherfuckers like running their mouth and trying to hurt your feelings, dog. So I'm already immune to that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm immune to that shit. Like, it doesn't bother me like it bothers other people. Like, I'm just so, like, don't get me wrong. I get upset when I know that fools are trying to test me. But what I'm saying is, like, insults and shit like that don't affect me like normal people. Look, when I was in the county one time, I was at 2800 in the hole back there, right? All the PCs were upstairs. All the PCs were upstairs, right? 
and and them fools look man i'm not even lying to you they used to save their their piss and shit and bag it up and they would diss us and throw it off the tier so that it'll stink up the tira or sometimes even hit us you know like that shit will splatter and then it'll hit the cell like you never sit close to the to the bars when you're when you're right there in that motherfucker you know so um you know what I mean? So, um, so to me, like the the shit talking, all that shit, like it doesn't upset me like it would upset other people, man. But to me, it's funny, man. Like I I be tripping on these fools, like they got they got no fucking, they got no grit, you know? Like they get all fucking hurt on their feelings and shit. They on pod podcast talking shit and run their mouth, and I'm just laughing, man. I'm looking at these fools, like <laughs> I'm looking at these motherfuckers, man, like. Like, fuck, dog. Like, they need help, dog. But but it's nothing, though. But listen, I got a story, though, right, to tell you. So the homies, they wouldn't let us talk shit back, you know? So this one time, I started flooding the cell, man. I started flooding my cell till it flooded the whole tira. That was the only way I could get these motherfuckers back. I flooded the whole motherfucking tear, dog. I clogged up my toilet, and I just started flushing that shit. Fool, I got it so... I got the water so high, dog, in my cell that you could you could jump off the first bunk into the water. Like, it was up past the bunk, dog. Like, I was on my bunk sitting there, and I would throw... I, we were doing that shit with, um... Fuck, what the fuck is the homie's name from Northside Pasadena? It was Lonely for Northside Pasa. And if I'm not mistaken, it was Chucky for North, Northside Pasa. But, um, yeah, we're back there in the hole together, man, but... <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers got PTSD from my, from my talking shit, man. Like, they fucking hate me, dog. They hate me like a motherfucker. But look, man, it's all good, man. You know, it's all fucking good, dog. Like, they can't.